I'm Kelly Sabolski. I'm from ThunderBayLive.com, and I'm here with... I'm Bruce Vanderweese. I'm William Vanderweese. Pleased to meet you, and why are we here today? Uh, today is our 40th anniversary of Thunder Bay Feeds, and we're kind of celebrating 40 years of history here, appreciation of the customers we've been over the years, and the staff, as well as the first generation who began Thunder Bay Feeds 40 years ago. 40 years ago. I, I didn't think it was 40 years ago when I heard it, but then I thought back about it, and sure enough, it was 40 years ago. You must be excited. It is. It's a really, really, really nice thing to watch and talk to everybody. See, see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. One step at a time. Yeah. So tell us a little bit of history of. <coughs> so I guess 40 years ago, they started out they saw the opportunity and a need for uh, bulk feed distribution in the area, need for uh, large animals, for farms and the like. And uh, in particular, entrepreneurial spirit really came out that time. And I think as the time passed on, it's probably the mid 80s to late 80s, there was more of an emphasis on, on retail. Mm -hmm. So, more of the stuff you see in the store here today, for example, really started happening more and more in the 19, uh, late 1980s. And mid 90s, I think there was a lot of changes in regard to the milling equipment. We had some electronic uh, milling equipment put in place. And what does that do exactly for folks that don't know? Okay. It, it makes it makes feeds to the balance that you want it to. Okay. With, with the right minerals and the right okay. the micro houses, micro, micro amounts. So you can really make a specific feed for, for specific things. Oh, okay. And that's pertaining to cows, cows and chickens, chickens, pigs. Eggs. Yeah, and, and also, also, also chicken or chicken uh, okay. at the farm, and that, that was only the big part of it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, but it's, it's really it's really making something that you have you have the ability to make all different things. It's like, it's like a recipe where you add all the different things, mm -hmm. and you were able to do that. And there's a science to it, yeah. of course. Oh, well, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, probably the mid uh, mid 2000s, so probably 10, 10, 11 years ago, um, we got more into the retail environment again, more of a focus. We uh, involved with a double D tack, and we had Darlene out here, and she uh, really helps out the way it is today. And we also probably the late, well, maybe 10 years ago or so, we got involved with Canada West Boots, where we became an outlet store for Canada West Boots. Very large selection. Yeah, thank you. And that leads us to where we are today. The products we have in here, and we have a very active website called ThunderBayFeeds.com, which is um, is monitored daily. We have a Facebook page, and of course, monitored daily as well. So we're trying to. Trying to keep oh. new products and new things happening here as well. Okay, to be, uh, so and what's happening here today as appreciation? Well, it's a little bit uh, rainy weather out there, but we're still going on uh, solving our, our anniversary party as well. We have uh, tired iron outside, is doing their uh, old equipment and old uh, pumps and different motors. We have um, some, some animals here as well. And we have uh, food and we have hot dogs, coffee. And and drinks as well. Awesome. Is there anything else you would like to add about the store? It's a, about the store, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a family business. Uh, with a lot of Has it been passed down? It's been passed down, okay. yeah, it passed down, third generation. Is now. this your father? Uncle, Uncle, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but his father was one of the original. Okay. Guys, and, and my brother Jerry, the three of us started. Okay, so the three brothers originally. Yeah, yeah that's numbers. right. And we, we spent some, some land off the farm, mm -hmm. and that's so so I had a set separate entity. And we started being affiliated with the cargo grain company. Right. Which, which they helped us out too. Okay. And they sent, like, you know, like, giving us advice, but you know, it was something new for all of us. Yeah. Now, now you guys transport grain to um, farmers in the area as well. Yeah, right. and, yeah. and from Manitoba and okay. yeah, yeah. 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 from the yeah. states. Yeah. 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 The Polyanas are busy. Yeah. It's a 24 7 hour business by the sounds oh. of it. Oh, it's something to do. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Nice thank you. meeting you. Thank you. Else Likewise. Like no, just uh, want to thank you very much to the community who supported us all those years, um, the staff we've had over the years, awesome. the current staff, yeah. and to 